Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MoveUpWithMike.com, where we focus on being financially literate so that we can make informed decisions about our financial future. As usual, we're going to start off with a little cartoon here about uh, investing and how some people have to almost give up their souls to be successful uh, traders in the market. This is the third installment on our video series on understanding Forex. We're going to focus today on what is a PIP. Now, in order to understand what a PIP is, we're going to review a little bit about our second series where we talked about what is a, a currency quote. Here we have the euro dollar, where the euro is the base currency, and the dollar is the quote currency. Again, I encourage you to go to our second video in this installment uh, to get more details, but this is our euro dollar. We shared that currently the, the euro dollar uh, quote is 1.2665. And in that, the base currency, the euro, for one dollar the euro, is going to cost you 1.2665 and a dollar. Now, those of us in the states aren't really too much familiar with that 6.5, and that 6.5 has a lot to do with what is a pit. So let's get to that. Currencies fluctuate in fractions of a dollar called a pip. The pip stands for price interest point. A pip is the last decimal in a quote. So let's go back to that 1.2665. The euro dollar currently is at 1.2665. If we were to go up two pips, that would take us to 1.2667. If we were to go down two pips, 1.2663, you can see that last decimal point is where we gain and lose value. Now, in our next installment, we're going to talk about lots and where we can, and this will help you put value to how much is a pip worth. Well, it depends upon how much you invest. But first, you have to understand how to calculate the value of a quote, and typically, it's the last decimal in a quote. There are two, uh, the majority of the uh, quotes you'll see will have four decimals. There are two that only have two, and we'll talk about that more again in our fourth installment, What is a Lot? But we hope that this helps you understand basically what a pip is, looking at that fourth decimal in a quote. And as it rises and as it goes down, that's how we make money. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.